Hello, hello, welcome back to Luminescent here with another reading for the moon in Aquarius during Virgo season. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the Virgo card, the Sun and Virgo card, Eight of Pentacles. So the overall energy is about us getting to work, um, accomplishing things, um, keep keeping our head down, working to until the job is finished. Um, if we're having a hard time initiating work working on something then we need to make things very practical in order to get to it so we have the four of cups the three of swords and the five of wands so um with the four of cups this is cancerian energy um i feel like this is like you have to start something and you just don't want to <laughs> like you you're you're fighting against initiating a change and you don't want to accept that you have to change your mind about you know some things that you've come comfortable and almost addicted to that's not bringing you any success within and instead of being you know happy to accept this offer of like emotional support to get you going um, you have to go through changing your mindset to see what it is that you're really afraid of and how it's keeping you like divided from who you truly are within and therefore you're distanced from people who are a reflection a good reflection of that you might end up with people who are a bad reflection of what you're going through right now just because of fear with this devil card being here uh, we definitely need to take care to you know simplify from you know from a 15 being a 6 to a 3 we need to simplify what it is that's really causing us to hurt our own selves our own relationship with ourselves, and how we may have sabotaged our own success from being too scared to go out and create a status for ourselves and the lack thereof how it's initiated some type of pain and that pain being also here with the three of heart um three hearts the three of swords and we have the magician the two swords um we have one and two and then here we have the princess of disc so um not only are we having a hard time accepting responsibility for causing our own pains? The pain that we do have, which has been a long time coming at this point, um, is offering us a path to something new. Now that we get to get over that Saturn and Libra energy, you know, breaking out of the pain and finding the gold in it, which this Princess of Disc is looking at. So um, we get to, you know, get on course, get on our path, you know, communicate with ourselves what it is that we truly are supposed to do and make a decision so that we can start planting and following the course we're meant to do. Um, staying in indecision only causes, you know, pain for yourself and those around you. So it's very important to, you know, be decisive when choosing something and don't base it out of pain um base it off of what it is true to you and what it is that you truly want in this life um this card is definitely talking about um discovering your talents and everybody have having a talent and it doesn't have to be you know what the world deems as talented we all have a hidden talent that's waiting to be discovered and we have to accept the good with the bad and the bad with the good in the decision that we make because sometimes you know the things that do hurt us the most are also the things that help us heal ourselves the most and we got to accept that truth no matter how painful it may seem at the moment um all things heal with time so with the five of wands here um, this is com about being um, competitive or having competitive energy. Um, it can definitely deal with other people fighting for you, against you, um, 
it can just uh, it's Saturn energy as well. So there can be it, this could be you blocking your own creativity since you're having a hard time getting started with something you really should have been working on this whole time, but you know you just didn't have the emotional, you didn't have the cup for the magician um he has everything but maybe you didn't have the emotional part there maybe you lacked emotionality when manifesting or alchemizing the situation um and you had to make a choice to you know start searching for that talent that emotional connection to your manifestation and you know with the so I mean a Virgo um, that makes Aquarius the sixth house to Virgo. Now Virgo and Aquarius are very mental signs. Um, Virgo is Earth and Aquarius being a fixed air. And with these two, um, communication definitely is easy. Um, they can get along very well. Um, it's just that Aquarius being fixed is also very unpredictable and goes its own course no matter what. And then Virgo energy is about going along with changes to make things better and sometimes Aquarius can be a little bit too eclectic and changeable for Virgo and sometimes Virgo can be a little bit too boring and too stuck into a routine which conflicts with Aquarius and having both of these energy personally is exactly how that feels like you want to make a change and go after something but contemplating too long on what those changes can mean can actually stop you dead in your tracks and eventually hurt yourself from not being confident enough in accepting whatever it is that's actually going to bring you that emotional fulfillment and not putting the effort to, you know, take that cup and use it, you know. So now that we get an opportunity to face our intuition and start receiving those messages that we knew we were supposed to do this to make our, you know, routines better. We knew we had to go through a radical change or unexpected shift in our thinking in order to manifest whatever gold or treasure that is hidden in us that we can utilize right now. So with Saturn um, and Leo here, we need to remove the block Saturn is in the fifth house of Virgo right now. So we there are some things that need to be unlocked and removed. And one of those things is fear. The other thing is believing that you are in competition with anyone else. And we need to understand with Leo being a personal sign, we are our competition. <laughs> our competition is always within. Um, and the unexpected tower moment may be realizing that and it being a fortune for you, it, it starts to turn the table around um we had an unexpected change occur yes but that unexpected change was for the better to get you on course and fighting to hold on to something that you know you can no longer have anymore whatever that physical attachment is being saturn or whatever emotional attachment that may be leo and um libra whatever it could be like accepting that you know someone doesn't want to be with you anymore or you know, the relationship that you longed for for so long isn't going the way that you imagined it to go. And you're trying to figure out, you know, did this person ever really care about me? Did they ever really love me? Or was it, you know, just, uh, you know, kicks and giggles and discovering, you know, you have to love yourself enough to know that there's nothing wrong with you and there's nothing wrong with separating from people because you know everything is temporary no matter how long it lasts and you're not in competition with anyone but you know who you were yesterday and making that your aim is to always be better which is a Virgo quality um, you shouldn't do it at the expense of hurting yourself because being analytical and practical about what it takes to bring your fortune in every day um, maybe right now you needed that shakeup. Maybe right now you need that unexpected turn of events that, you know, although hurt you, can also help you in a long term. We got the seven and the ten here, which breaks down to a one. So we definitely have some separation occurring, um, 
with Mars energy here, you're being driven to be separated from something that made you feel like you were in some type of invisible competition with your with the world that you don't really have to be in. Um, when you are in love with yourself, you show of yourself, you know who you are and what your responsibility in the world is. There will be no reason to ever feel like you're in competition with anyone. And that you are always going to stand out and you are going to stand up regardless of what happens. You're going to be the person to break the mold. And you can be the person to break a mold if you allow it to flow, if you allow it to happen. Trying to hold on to things that are stopping you from growing and expanding in your heart space is actually going to do more damage than good. So allow whatever is breaking off to break free from you so that you have room to travel to a new experience with your spirit okay so we have here new love okay so are we going to accept this cup now are you ready to get to work on something that is destined for you okay and then we have follow what makes you happy so obviously this new love is going to make you happy in some form of fashion if you're willing to see it and move through fear definitely being willing to see through fear and take the first step in making yourself happy um saturn and um capricorn energy especially with jupiter and pluto um they're permanently getting rid of things that we don't need as a society and we see this happening even in a personal life on a personal level there are things that we're being broken out of freed from and there's no need to keep going back to it once you've gotten out. Just stay out, you know. So um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. And lo and behold, we have the Devil with the Four of Pentacles underneath more cap energy. Okay, so going from Virgo season to, um, or what I say, going into um, Virgo season, we want to be very mindful and have very... And, allow us to have a clear head in the moment even you know while all this is going on find some type of peace of mind find some type of peace within um don't allow yourself to completely lose your shit just because something didn't work out the way that you wanted to and it may have been very 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 badly wanted however letting go of this so much more easier to deal with life because attachments that we make, you know, in this life cycle, we don't really need physical attachments to anything. You have to be willing to accept that all attachments or having expectations are the first step to this energy here. Where you feel like you're in competition with something that you really don't have any competition with. It's all... And how you see it. That's what the devil energy is about. So allow yourself to understand, you know, even though we got it's cloudy down here, you know, in our immediate environment, there's still hope. There's still a message of hope that's coming in here with this little bird here. We still have an opportunity to, you know, face our fears, move through our fears here, you know, and allow balance to happen allow balance to occur and you might find something worth holding on to with these talents and gifts that you already possess all right so that's my reading for virgo season moon and aquarius thank you so much um if this reading was helpful for you um you can definitely book a reading i'm on patreon you can view my videos and blog there um you can follow me on instagram and facebook and also, um, I do accept donations for readings as well. So you can also find that in the description box below. Thank you so much and peace out.